Be nicer to passengers. Police say that's the last thing a 74 year old man told the woman who pushed him off a bus. Police say that victim hit his head and later passed away. News 3's Antonio Casalon joins live from Fremont and 13th Street with the story and the arrest that followed. Marie, this is the bus stop where the push happened. The 74 year old hit the concrete head first. He was on his way home. Trevor Taylor tries to hold back the tears as he remembers his 74 year old friend, Serge Fournier. He was an excellent neighbor, you know, very nice uh, religious person. According to this Metro Police report, on March 21st, Fournier was riding on an RTC bus when he spotted 25 year old Kadisha Bishop swearing at people. The report says witnesses heard Fournier tell Bishop to be nicer to passengers. As the 74 year old used his walker to exit at 13th and Fremont, Police say Bishop pushed Fournier forcefully with two hands. Fournier fell on his head. After he was pushed off the bus, he came here for a day or two, and then his pain was so great that he had to call an ambulance and went to the hospital. Fournier spent a month in the hospital before he passed away. The Clark County coroner determined he died from complications connected to the push. No matter what his age, she should not have done that. You know, people need a little bit more patience than what they have nowadays. Fournier leaves behind a wife who is disabled. Ken Mullen knew Fournier and says his loss is still being felt. I know it caused, you know, severe financial problems for uh, his wife. Police say after the push, Bishop did not offer any help as she walked away with her son. Detectives managed to identify Bishop through bus surveillance video and arrested her this week. Just Lexi Powell says people need to respect the elderly. He a little slow because his back and his legs is kind of, you know, ailing. Taylor says he hopes Bishop is punished. He tells us he will never forget his friend. I will always remember him as being a wonderful person. Bishop is at the Clark County Detention Center. She has a $100,000 bail and she is facing a murder charge. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3.